So let's do a quick overview. What aspects will we cover in the course? Well, in the second week after, the after this first week, now we will take a kind of like 10,000 feet bird's eye view on the topic of global digital development. We will play around with the cube. So instead of going very deeply into one topic and then the next week into the next topic, and then after uh, several weeks, you try to understand that what we are talking about is a big elephant in the room. What we will do during these first two weeks, this week and next week, is I will give you a very coarse grain picture that might not allow you to understand everything and you will surely have a lot of questions. But I hope that it will give you a, a very rudimentary idea of what we will talk about in the course. Then after this first or second week, what we will do is we will fill in the different blanks and we will give more details to these different aspects. And at the end, well, we might not be able to work through the complete picture. It will still be somehow incomplete picture, but a much more complete picture. What this topic of digitalization and digital technology and social change is all about. In the third week, we will then start to dig down and we start with a horizontal layer with the fundaments and we review the theory of technological change. So we ask what basically is technology and how does technology evolve? How does technology change? Innovation theory, that's, that's the topic of this week. And then we ask how technological change leads to social change, to social evolution, to the modernization of social structures and dynamics. And then in the fifth and sixth weeks, we particularly talk about the characteristic of this period of modernization, which is digitalization. So uh, when information communication is being digitalized, it gets certain characteristics, which are very important. And, and luckily, they apply them to all different kinds of applications. So we study what are the particularities and the effects of digitalization. Uh, now we are halfway into the course, five, six weeks out of 10, and we basically covered all most of the fundamental theory. So the theory of technological change, of social change, and the theories behind digitalization. And, and now we have four more weeks where we can look at some special topics. For example, digitalization modernizes many sectors in society, business, health, education, and so forth. I picked one here. I know it's, it's, it's a little bit egocentric and a personal choice because I'm a scientist. So I chose the topic how digitalization changes the way we do science. Well, basically how digitalization changes knowledge creation. And we have to talk a lot about big data. You might have heard this world. The big data revolution is very important with that in that regard. Then we talk about the fact that technology never instantaneously falls like mana for heaven and everybody has the equal amount of technology after the revolution started. No, technology diffuses through social networks and that inevitably creates a divide and inequality. And many people are worried about the fact that now we have this new inequality, which has increasing importance, inequality in access and usage of digital information. Then in the eighth week, we have to consider that digitalization is intricately linked to globalization. Digital networks do not recognize national borders. So looking at cubes into cubes, you have on the highest level a very big cube, which is the global digital revolution and globalization. So we we certainly have to talk about globalization if you want to understand digitalization. And then finally, in the last week, we'll ask the question, so what? So, so what to do about it? What do we have to consider? What are the particularities we have to consider if we try to intervene and guide the development of the digital age?